We have been reading books and articles on the web for a long time. And we love to highlight the text while reading it. However, the challenge has been that there has been no single tool or app that could consolidate all the highlights from different resources. But now we have Readwise. Readwise automatically syncs your highlights from a variety of sources, such as eBooks, articles, PDFs, Twitter, Medium, Podcasts, and other apps like Liner, Pocket, Instapaper, and Hypotheses. You can also manually input highlights from physical books or other physical sources that might not be in digital formats using the Readwise mobile app. Readwise can also export all your highlights from Readwise to your preferred productivity apps like Evernote, Roam Research, and Notion, or even to a CSV format and Markdown. Believe me, my biggest complaint about Readwise is that it did not exist 10 years back. I seriously love this product. So before we get into the tutorial for Readwise, please take a moment to subscribe to my channel, like it, and provide your comments, please. So without any further ado, let's take a look into the most promising tool, Readwise. Before I get into this tutorial, I feel it's important to know that Readwise can import your highlights from various different tools, as I mentioned here. The import function is really easy and user-friendly, and hence, I'm not going to go this over in this video. On the pricing front, you can start free for two weeks and then pick an option as shown here. The light version is $4.49 per month on the annual plan, or you may opt for a monthly as shown here. This will include daily email on web and mobile app, search functionalities, and syncs with all resources. Whereas the full version will get you exporting highlights to Evernote and Notion, the mastery functionality, early access to beta features, plus locking into the low price, this will be approximately $8 per month on the annual plan. So now I'm going to go into the daily review itself. Like I mentioned at the beginning, there are many different ways or mediums that you can do the daily review. The simplest and the most casual is the email. Many users just love getting the email every day and reading it with their morning cup of coffee or even looking at it before they go to bed. They are not really interested in advanced interactions like editing the note or editing the highlight or leaving notes or adding tags or sharing or anything like that. They just want to revisit and reconnect with the highlights. If you are interested in any of the advanced interactions, that's what I'm going to get into now. So I receive the highlight in my email every day and I use this email as kind of a prompt to go and do my daily review and then click this link at the top and it brings me into on this page. And when you do that, you will see these same highlights on this page. I've just already done my review and I've generated a new one, which is why they are different right now. So now let me orient you with this daily review screen. We are on the first highlight, one of 10, and while you're here, you'll have this toggle. And there are two ways you can consume the daily review in the app. You can review it and what we call review mode. And what this does is it focuses single highlight. Right now, like this one, from the power of now, or you can change it to scroll mode and make it look more like the email where you'll be seeing the highlights vertically as you are opposed to horizontally, and you can scroll through them. Well, this is up to preferences, but in my opinion, or the best practice is to in be in the review mode because it's more intense and you are not distracted. You are focusing on a single highlight at a time. And then when you move on to the second highlight, that toggle goes away and it's only on the first highlight. 
So now next you'll see this blue dot next to the book cover. And this dot comes in a couple of different colors. Blue kind of like in an email client means that you've never seen this highlight and realized before. We sometimes call that an unprocessed highlight. The main event is the highlight itself. And then at the bottom is the note because this is the first time I'm seeing this highlight. I know this is the note I took when I originally read the book. Okay, now there are several actions you can take before I get to those. I'll point out this chevron is the arrow in the upper right. And here there are a variety of things you can do. First, you can go and launch the highlight provided you have the Kindle app installed on your computer. So if I click this, this will open the Kindle app and brings me right to the book and right to this highlight. And this is super helpful if you took a highlight that didn't have any, enough context over there. And if you want to go back and revisit the source text and understand what you were thinking, so here you can see it's loaded on. Next, you can copy the highlight text. So if I do that now, you can see that it's been copied to my clipboard and I can paste it here with this format. It will put quotes around it and then the author title. You can also use keyboard shortcuts throughout the web app, which I highly recommend learning. The keyboard shortcut for copy is CC and you can see I've copied it to the clipboard. Next, you can see two options. This is kind of like being in Twitter or Facebook where you can modify your algorithmic feed and tell Readwise like, oh, I haven't seen this book in a while. I really like seeing this and I'm gonna see this more often. Or you can say I'm seeing this book too much. It's annoying me. And you can gradually really dial in your daily reviews. As you will see in this review, got the power of now. The power of now on this third one, I named a few. Like, I don't want some more variety and I would come here and I would say, show me this less often. You can also do the minus symbol or the plus symbol on your keyboard to toggle those. And then finally, you can tell that you never want this red book resurfaced in your daily review again. So now let's get into all the different actions you do. The first thing you can do is tag. So I typically use the keyboard shortcut, the letter T. Okay, here is a highlight is about knowledge. So I'm putting the knowledge tag on it. Next, you can favorite the keyboard and the shortcut is F. Favorite at, at, at the end of the day is a specialized tag and you can access the favorites from your dashboard. Next, you can get into a powerful new feature called edit which enables you to come in and change the body of the highlight passage. But real quick, I just wanted to point it out that the highlighted text is not sacrosanct and this is your text. You know you don't have to preserve this just because the author originally wrote it. You can come in here and you can make this shorter, which is what we highly recommend. Because the shorter the passage and the more to the point, it will be better for your reviews. You can also add context where it's missing. You come in and you can change pronouns to make them refer to exactly what they were referring to. And then you can also do some formatting. So for example, like maybe next time I see this, I want to make sure that I come into it with this part highlighted. So what I did right here is I selected the text and I hit the command or control U for underline and then surrounded this with this special character like markdown, which is in the instructions like you see here, and it is highlighted now. It can also be italicized by using command I, and then I can also pull command and command B, and now I have added some formatting to this highlight, which is really amazing. Next, you can get into share. Share will make an image out of the highlight if you came in and you did need formatting it, will just show the formatting. And if you did nothing, 
it will show the whole highlight. Highlight it and once you got this image, you can share it to Twitter, provided you are connected to Twitter account. You can share it to Facebook or you can even save this image to your computer or your phone. All right, down here is the note I originally took while I was reading. If it doesn't really make much sense, I might want to say this is my note. I normally take a lot of notes and my philosophy is that the best way to read between the lines is to write between the lines. So we highly encourage you to know adding reflections or takeaways or connections down here. And now finally we get down to the decision actions. The first one is discard versus keep. And sometimes this confuses our users just so that you know what does this mean and basically what this means is lots of users take abundant highlights they take more highlights than they want and then when they see the highlight resurfaced and realize or like why did i take the highlight this has no meaning to me in that event you would discard the highlight and then you'll never see it in readwise again alternatively you might feel like the highlight does have meaning. You do want to continue to see it into the future, in which case you would keep it. So that's the difference between discard and keep. Then if this is a highlight that is really meaningful to you, or you just get into how you can choose to master it or give spaced repetition feedback, what mastery does, it applies spaced repetition and active recall to your highlight. So if I click the master button where that keyboard shortcut is M, I can come in here and I can master it. There are two forms to, to master it. The first is called closed deletion, which is just a fancy way of saying fill in the blanks. So you can pick a word, for example, I might pick knowledge and it will replace that word with an underline. I save it. So now when I see this highlight again, this is how it be presented. And what this does is it forces you to really pay attention and read the highlight and will significantly enhance your retention of the underlying idea here. You can also convert highlights into a question and an answer. This is kind of the pinnacle of active recall. I won't do this here, but I can invert this highlight into a question and then prompt myself to get the answer and then it will be shown to you like a normal flashcard. All right, so that's the active recall component of mastery. The space repetition component is down here. So then once you've seen what the word is, you can tell Readwise, do I want to see this highlight again soon? Do I want to see it later? Or do I want to see it eventually? In a proper flashcard software, if you were trying to say, you know, memorized math equations or a foreign language for a test, you would give this feedback based on how difficult it was for you to remember. The fact if it is, is was more difficult, you need to see it again sooner because you're at a risk of forgetting it. If it was easy, then you don't need to continue studying it. You can also give keyboard shortcuts for each of these. One, two, and three. If you forget, you can just hover and there will be a tooltip for you. So soon is two, later is three, and eventually is four. And when you see these highlights again, it is dependent on how many mastery flashcards you have in your queue. But a rough estimate is if you say later, you'll see it in roughly two weeks. You say soon, you'll say there roughly one week and eventually will be in four weeks. So folks, I went over a lot, but hopefully after watching this video, you know how to use Readwise and perform your daily reviews and improve your retention abilities. Try the Readwise mobile app and get help to retain and make use of the best parts for your read. Please take a moment to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button if you found this tutorial useful.
As I wrap up this video, please take a few moments to visit my channel, NextGen Digital, where you will get access to rich content on productivity, technology apps that could enhance your daily productivity. In addition to this, please do get access to my website where I write blogs and articles on productivity. Please do leave your comments and your reactions and do sign up for our newsletter. Until then, have a great one.